everyone, this video is all about what films I've been watching at the moment. These have been what I have been going to the cinema or watching on Netflix or just looking at on TV. Um, so yeah, if you like it, give it a big thumbs up and um, if there's anything that you think I should watch or that you've watched that you've really liked, comment down below and I'll definitely check it out, but let's go. The first film I went to watch, I went to the cinema to see and it is Batman vs Superman. Now, I heard a lot of things about this when I went to see it and I wasn't entirely sure, um, you know, what whether to believe the reviews or not, but I went with an open mind. And I really did like it. The only thing I would say is that it was a little bit slow kind of building up to the whole versus part. Like it kind of dragged a bit, but the storyline was so good. Like I really liked how they all linked it in and it was just very clever. I think the acting was superb. I love Ben Affleck as Batman. I can almost say that he is better than Christian Bale. Just putting it out there. I think he just brings it makes him a bit more 3D, gives him a bit more different sides and different layers and I really like that instead of just one-sided as this big tough guy. I'm not sure I'm going to say her name right but Gal Gardot who plays Wonder Woman is also insane. I really like her and I've seen her popping up in other things kind of after that so really excited to see what else she does. Um, I think she was a brilliant choice for Wonder Woman. And Jesse Eisenberg, I just can't even. I love him too much. He's just awesome. I think he's such an... I think he, I can also almost say he's kind of getting to that kind of variety of roles as much as people like Johnny Depp and Heath Ledger. Now that's a big statement but I think that his roles are so varied that I can say that. A couple of films that I've really got into recently are the National Treasure films. I can't believe how addicted I am to them. I think Nicolas Cage is pretty good. His role is really suits him as an actor. It always keeps you on the edge of your seat because there are some films, especially films like that, um, a little bit like Batman vs Superman where it kind of gets, takes its time getting to it, but these films keep you with them all the way through and you never get bored and there are some really nice moments in it, kind of, that are a bit sentimental, but it doesn't distract from the main storyline, which I love. And I'm so excited that they're making a new one. Um, I think, I think it said it's out in 2017, I think. Um, so next year, but I can't wait, because they're just awesome. I've been watching, I did watch quite a long while ago, and I didn't really appreciate it at the time, and then I watched it again, and I loved it so much, and that is Zoolander. Anyone who says they don't like Zoolander is seriously kidding themselves. It is such an awesome film. I think from a fashion point of view, it really does kind of show that side of fashion so well. And the cameos as well are awesome. I think my personal favourite is David Bowie in it. He's just awesome. But yeah, it's just so tongue in cheek and clever and funny. And I do need to see the new one. Next film is The Grand Budapest Hotel. I did start watching this and then I can't remember why I stopped. I think something happened and we had to stop watching it. But we finally sat down to watch it again, all the way through properly. Oh, I have so much love for that film. I think Wes Anderson is so brilliant at what he does. Love all the wide shots, I love the colour, I love the characterisation. It's just so charming. I think that's very rare to find in a film that a film is charming. And this is so charming. and so funny. The last film that I've been loving at the moment is Absolutely Anything. Now if you've not seen this, you need to see it because at first when I kind of saw um, like the poster and I don't know if I saw a trailer, I kind of saw it, it didn't really appeal to me. Like I love Simon Pegg, I adore him um, and I think I've never really appreciated him as a leading man as a such. Like I loved him kind of in the Cornetto trilogy. I think he was awesome in, with Nick Frost. And I loved him in Star Trek. I just don't think I kind of gave him the time of day as a leading actor. I also watched Hector in the Search for Happiness and was blown away by him in that. Um, and so when I saw absolutely anything, I thought, actually, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go. Um, because last time I was completely blown away. And seriously, is one of the funniest films I have ever seen, hands down. Like, the the script is just, I can't even 
describe it. It's just so funny and Simon Pegg at his best. Um, and there's lots of little cameos in it as well. You've got Monty Python as the aliens and you've also got the amazing Robin Williams as the dog. I can't remember his name. Derek. Is it Derek? Yes. <laughs> as Derek the dog. Um, and that is probably my favourite bit. So those have been the films that I've been loving at the moment. This was actually requested and I never really thought of doing something like this before but if you like it and you want me to continue doing things like this then I definitely will because it's it's quite interesting. I really like watching these sort of videos. Um, so yeah, um, I will be doing a TV series one as well. So expect that coming up in the next couple of weeks or months or whatever. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.